Hello everybody, welcome to programming with C++ and today we'll be studying control statements. Let us see what control statements are. Usually the flow of the pro program execution used to be sequential. Like what was the first statement will get executed first, followed by second and then so on. But control statements are something which alter the flow of a program. Like it will be like the first statement will get executed first followed by something on the third fourth and then again it would come back to the second so let us see how that happens control statements of flow of execution was sequential like you got to know and then c++ contains statements that was that can alter the flow of the sequence of instruction so such statements are only called as control statements And then look at this example, you have three statements, one, two and three, where the order was like first one gets executed, next two and then three. So that is a sequential flow happening. But control statements, as you know, it just changes the order. Like in this example, like after one, two got executed and after two, three. And then again, two, after two get, I mean after three gets executed, four gets executed. Okay, you got the flow of them. Control statements are of three types. That is selection, iteration and jump statement. Cont as you know, control statements are of three types. Selection, looping or iteration and then jump statements. And again, under selection, you have few other statements like if, if else, nested if, switch. And then under looping, you have while do while for under jump you have go to break and continue let us do one by one first let us go to selection statement selection statements allows us to choose a set of instructions for executing depending on expressions truth value it will check for a truth value if it is true it will do some kind of express some kind of statements get executed if not some other kind of statements get executed so this is called a selection it selects what statement has to be executed and that is also called as condition or decision statements there are five types of selection statements if statement if else statement nested if else if ladder and switch statement what is an if statement it is a simplest selection statement. It is used in decision making and altering the flow of the program. Obviously, selection statement is used for decision making. And because it is a control statement, it is one of the control statements. It alters the flow of the program. The format, something like a syntax is if followed by within parenthesis the expression that is If followed by within parenthesis you have the expression followed by statement 1. If this is true, it, statement 1 gets executed. If not, I mean if it's true or not also, statement 2 gets executed. Like here you have the flow chart in which you have is expression. If the expression is true, statement 1 gets executed. If it's false, directly statement 2 gets executed. Even if it is true, after statement 1 get executing, the flow goes like this. So, statement 2 is something like mandatory. If the expression is true or not, also it gets executed. But statement 1 gets executed only if expression is true. Let us see an example. You have max equals to a. If, if max is less than b. Here max holds the value of a, right? You check if max is less than b. Initially, assume that you have chosen one maximum number. You have two numbers and choose the first one as the maximum. And then if you check the first one is lesser than b also. If it is true, then obviously maximum will be b. Hence, you assign this. Else, if it is not, max will already be having a variable. It will hold the value of the maximum variable. Hence, you can directly print maximum equals to max. In this example, C out maximum is a default, which is statement 2 in this example. So, even if it's true or false, it gets printed. Next, you have if else statement. If else is a carry out a logical test and then take one of the two possible course of actions. It is similar to if statement, but then you have an else also. It's like you have is expression, if it is true, it goes through this path. 
and then goes to the next if it is fault it takes this path so it's like if the expression is true it prints statement one else it prints statement two and then after both it prints next like here you have if expression you print statement one else statement two and then statement three is like default here let us see an example if number modulo division by two equal to equal to zero mod division means remainder right of a number divided by two and the remainder is zero what does it mean it means it is an even number and you print c out number is even else it is odd number and usually if the statements are bigger you can enclose it within flab braces next you have nested if statement nested if is embedding one if else statement into another if else statement like you have one if else statement within that you'll have another one like your if expression one for this the set of statements is this this part and then else is like this else is for this if statement followed by set of statements and then the set of statement is another if else got it under this if we have another if else again you have if expressions two then statement one gets printed else statement two and then again the else block else block contains another if let us see with an example to find maximum of three numbers you have three elements a b and c first you check if a is greater than b so that becomes the if part else means then b is greater than a right so this becomes the if part this becomes the else part this entire thing and within if what do you do you again check if a is greater than c also if a is greater than b and a is greater than c it means maximum is a and you write max equals to a but if a is greater than b but not greater than c it means max is c and you write max equals to c or if the first if itself is wrong that is a greater than b itself is wrong you come to the else block and then here you see if is if block was enclosed within flower braces and again else is enclosed within another flower braces and then in the else block again you check if b is greater than c first condition was false right that is b was greater than a and then if again b is greater than c as well then maximum becomes b else the max becomes c so this is an example of a nested if nested if you can have any number of nested if that's nothing but if within if else within another if else statement and usually you use flower braces to distinguish the ifs like this if is associated with this else and this if is associated with this else so the bigger if is associated with this that's how you distinguish with the using flower braces next you have else if ladder else if ladder is selecting one among several choices like there it was like if it is this else else means directly you just tell if not that this one but else if ladder is again you check else again you have another condition and check if it's that is true and then else again you have another and here if expression one if it is true statement once get executed else you again check if expression two in the else you have an expression to be checked and then if that is true statement two gets printed and then you have else if expression three again else part you have another expression then statement three gets executed and then finally you have an else with statement four if it's none of these then you have statement four for this a very good example will be your grading system it will be like either a person would be falling under one category either he'll be a distinction holder or he'll be a first class or he'll be from second class or he would have failed in that subject so let us see how that example works good with else if ladder first we have if marks greater than 90 let us assume marks is nothing but the average of a person's mark and then here we check if marks greater than 90 first if it is true we just directly print see our distinction and then it comes out of the else part and all if not of that then again you check else if marks greater than 80 and if it is not greater than 80 if it is greater than if it's not greater than 90 and greater than 80 then it means it is of the first class and then again you have else if marks greater than 60 like again is the marks greater than 60 you check then you print second class else the final final thing will be the obviously the student would have failed and you write c out fail so you got the flow of it it is just like a 
ladder or something else it is called as else if ladder it's like first you check if it is 90 then you write distinction if not else again you check if greater than 80 and then write first class again else if marks greater than 60 second class and finally the else of the entire thing will be fail so obviously a student will fall only under one category of this Next, let us see what a switch statement is. Switch is called a multi-way decision statement. It is nothing but selecting one statement for execution out of a several set of alternatives. So, switch is somewhat similar to else if ladder but not actually is because there you have to check again and again but here it's not like that. You choose in switch statement, you choose one of the statement is right. You know that one of the statement is right and you choose that as the thing. And then there is only one of the possible statement will be executed and the remaining will be skipped how do you skip the remaining that is used by a keyword called break break will just break you out of the will just get you out of the uh, braces or the selection thing format is switch followed by expression and then you have case label one expression will be compared with label one if expression and label one is same then statement one gets executed else you and after that gets executed you break and then if that label 1 and expression is not matching, you check if expression matches with label 2. And then you have case label 2 colon and the format is very important in this which is a keyword here. And they have underlined it and then expression which is something like a function ends within parenthesis. You write the expression to be checked and case is also a keyword which has to be used. And then it keeps on checking. There will be n number of labels. Labels can be anything. And then the default is nothing but like the else block of the else if ladder. Hence here you have the default followed by the default block. Let us see the example of it. Like for example, OP stands for option which holds some numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 or anything else. So if OP is 1, that is case 1, right? If OP and 1 is equal, that is OP holds 1, then you do addition. Hence, we print C out A plus B. It will perform addition A plus B and then do print that and then it will break out of that. If not, OP holds 2, then you do subtraction that is C out A minus B. Here, we directly print C out A minus B. Actually, what happens is first the operation get performed. That is either A plus B or A minus B and then value of that gets printed on the output, up, output screen. If OP holds 3, that is case 3 you have, right? Then you do multiplication and similarly it goes on. And another thing to remember is here we have used a switch. That is a keyword I said. And then K should be that itself. Whereas label can be user dependent. Here we have used 1, 2, 3, 4. And if it is either of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then there will be a default right. Default is nothing but modulus. Default performs modulus. Hence you have A mod B. And then outside everything, once you break, see for default you don't have a break because obviously after that you will come out of the switch. Whereas here after doing A plus B you should break, else it will start comparing again. If there was another one it would have performed that, hence we use break for all the other statements. For default you don't have a break. Once you come out, either you break it or come out to executing default, there will be some statement to execute. Like here we have the next statement, right? What is the next statement here? Here it is see out operation performed. Obviously one of the operation will be performed once you enter the switch. Either by comparing or by printing the default operation. And after doing all this you can tell operation perform. This acts as the next operation. In the next video I will be explaining about looping and jump statements. Thank you.